Evening, everyone. It's 532 on this rainy Tuesday, the uh, 5th of March. And this is your closing comment video number 2098. So it was an interesting day. We started on the downside and pretty much it continued to get worse all day until about 3.30 when the Dow was down about 500 or so. And we started a little bit of a rally across all of them with the Dow finishing down 404.64 or a shade over 1%. NASDAQ was the big loser down 267.92 or 1.65%. Um, the uh, S&P, 52.30 to the downside, 1.02. Uh, the Russell down just under a percent, down 2060. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, transports down 163.65, also right around 1%. Uh, volume on the NYSE was 5 to 4 down. It was a little worse in NASDAQ, 1.8 to 1, so almost 2 to 1. Um, and volume ballooned up uh, over 10%. It was 6.3 billion shares traded, and that was versus yesterday's reasonably high number of 5.7. Okay, so... To sum up the entire day, take a look at the chart on the screen. It is Bitcoin. We made a new all-time high. 70,215. And then we moved lower. We hung around. Let me show you the intraday. Maybe that'll give you a better idea of what the day looked like. This was overnight last night, this morning, higher, and then we moved down initially to the 66000 level, broke through to the $64,000 number, came back up, could not get through, and then had another sharp sell-off, making the low of the day at 60125 And around the same time as the other markets, we started a rally from pretty close to the lows that uh, took a bunch of the sting out of the day. But it was down almost 9%, 8.84%. Um, I hesitate to characterize this technically, um, because basically the only way to characterize it is a key reversal day, new all-time high, closing down on the day. But this has been such a strange trader, it would not surprise me to see it come back down to this 54,000 range, which is the 20-day moving average. The MACD has not rolled over yet. Um, but this entire complex, um, Bitcoin, so GBTC, uh, Ethereum, so ETHE, um, you know, these things have been bouncing around without any kind of, you know, any kind of explanation for it, just momentum. Um, I actually sold some ETHE. I sold two pieces of it, uh, one at uh, 32.66 when it was still up on the day, and then another piece at 30, um, 30.64, which was down on the day, and uh, the close in the regular hours was down around 28.53. It had been down to 27.07. Um, in the late market, it's still right around that same area. Uh, so we'll have to see the reopen in about uh, 45 minutes. We'll get a better clue from the electronic uh, session. Um, oil was down a little 
down 59 cents, 78.15. Nat gas was up another four cents to um, 196 even. And the uh, Nat gas managed, I, I'm, I was actually pretty surprised, pleased, but pretty surprised to see that it managed even after yesterday's great action to the upside, but closing in the middle, that we actually made a higher high and a higher low and closed up on the day. This is very encouraging. I still don't expect it to get, you know, much through this 210, 220 area on this run, but that would still be pretty nice. Uh, the gold was up 15 and the silver was down uh, about a dime. Uh, the dollar was basically unchanged, 103.75 down three cents and the bonds were higher by a uh, point and a quarter. Okay, so after the close, we had all kinds of earnings. So I'll go through those. We have CrowdStrike, which was a big beat top and bottom lines and good guidance. The stock had closed at 297.56 and that was down 16 and a quarter. Um, after the close, after the uh, numbers, let me just make sure I have this with the right high. Um, since then, it has been as high as 379. So 289 on the low, 379 on the high, and the last is 374.50, 71, 374.71, up about $61 or 19%. Um, Nordstrom reported with a slight beat on revenues, but the guidance was a little squishy um, and margins were the same. It had closed at 2090, up 32 cents. Um, it moved uh, up to 2129, new high on the day. And then when they started getting into the actual numbers and the guidance, they took it down. And the last is 1878, and that's down a dollar 78, and that's just under nine percent. Ross Stores had uh, a beat top and bottom um, and kind of mixed guidance. The stock had closed 149.17, down 49 cents on the headline of its beat. It ran up to 157.34 and then promptly turned down, went to 146. And the last there is 148.50, down 146. So really not much. I mean, the close at four o'clock, 149.17, the last 148.50. So, you know, basically a 1% move. Uh, target from this morning, uh, everybody loved the numbers, loved the guidance, looked at margins. They finally have gotten over their excessive inventory versus sales. And uh, it finished up on the day, 168.58, up 18.09 or 12%. Box also, this was one of my favorite stocks for a while, Box beat top and bottom line, um, and guidance was mixed. Started out good, but was mixed. The stock had closed at 27.25, down 63 cents. Um, on the headline, it went down to 25.52, and then up to 31.82. It settled back down, and the last on it is twenty-seven ninety-seven, up nine cents. So, you know, it basically went down two and a half, down two and a half dollars, to uh, up four dollars, to back to basically unchanged. And SoFi that I mentioned this morning that was down about eight percent just sunk all day. Uh, 727 down a dollar 31 or 15 percent and basically the only news there was that 750 million convertible note due um, 2029 that was announced pre-open that got this debacle moving. I mean you, you have to realize that uh, SoFi 
has a range of a high just yesterday of $9.13 and a low today of $7.13. And a the last on it is 723 down a dollar 35 15 and 3 quarter percent lower so not good all right folks uh tomorrow we have um fed chairman powell in front of congress um and we have him in front of uh the Senate the next day. We have our normal stuff, the weekly uh, MBA mortgage index, but we also at 8.15 have the February ADP employment change. So uh, briefing is looking at uh, 150 new jobs and uh, the prior number was 107. Then at 10 o'clock, we have the job openings, the jolts, the prior was 9,026,000. Uh, January wholesale inventory expectation is for down a half a percent. The prior was up four tenths. Uh, weekly crude inventories at uh, 10.30. And then the March Fed Beige Book, which easily can be market moving. So that comes out at two o'clock. All right, folks, I'll be back in the morning. Hope everyone had as successful a day as we did. We had the UNGs up. Uh, we had the energy market a little higher. So it was a good day for us. Have a good evening.